So we're going to examine the for loop in Java by coding in sublime text. Now the first thing we're going to do is have a look at the syntax for a for loop. You will see it contains three parts. The first part is the variable initialization part. The second part is the condition which defines when the loop continues and when it stops. And the third part is where you define whether the variable um, that you initialized in the first section, whether it is increased or decreased every time the loop is executed. Now, within the body of the loop, you will type your code and that will be executed every time the loop runs. So we're going to now look at an example by typing in sublime text. So, And once you've launched Sublime Text, then the first thing we're going to do is define a class. Now, what we want to do is we want to output the numbers 9 to 19. And to do that, we're going to first define a class, public class, loop 9 to 19. And in there, we're going to put in our curly brackets. In the next section, you're going to define the main method, public static void main, open the bracket, string args, and your square brackets. As you recollect that the main method is where your code will start executing from once you run the code, then curly brackets. And that, and here we're going to define a for statement. So we say for, open the bracket, int x equals. Now where do we want the loop to start from? We would like to start the loop from nine. So, so we initialize the variable x to nine, semicolon, and how long would we like the loop to carry on running? We want to basically output up numbers up to 19. So essentially, as long as the value of x is less than 20, we want the loop to carry on running. And the third part is the increment decrement um, statement. So what would we like to happen every time the loop runs, we would like the value of x to increase by one, okay? So you could say x equals x plus one. You could either say that, or, or you could use the short form x plus plus, okay? And then the curly brackets, and this is where you're going to define the body of your for statement. Um, so what is it that we want? We want it to print out the value of x every time it loops. So to do that, we say system dot out dot println, open the bracket, we put in the quotation marks because we want to say the value of x is equal to so we say the value of x is and basically the colon and leave a space okay then so we want it to read the value of x is and then we put the plus sign and x now the plus sign is the concatenation character, which basically means it's the glue that connects the string value, which is in quotation marks here, to the variable, okay? At the end of it, you put a semicolon, otherwise it'll generate an error. And now we save this file, okay? So I'm gonna launch Finder. And in here, I'm going to create a directory or a new folder on the desktop called 
loops. Okay, so I want to save my code in the loops folder. So you go to file save as and then on your desktop and there's the loops folder so I'm going to name this as loop 9 to 90 dot java uh, it's very important to put that java extension otherwise you won't be able to compile your code okay once we've done that we save it and now i'm going to launch my terminal and in there i'm going to change to the loop loops folder by saying cd drag the loops folder and press enter or you can type in the whole path and now you will see that you're in the loops folder now let's do an ls and basically you will see that currently we have only one file uh, which is the loop 9 to 19 java file dot java file okay so what we want to do now is you want to compile this to compile it we say javac and the name of the file which is loop 9 to 19 dot java press enter now if everything is okay it will compile it and create a class file otherwise it will uh, generate some error message so we will then have to correct the error message okay so the compiler has done the job um, and there are no errors so let's do a ls again to see if it's created the class file and yes it has created the class file loop 9 to 19 dot class now to run this we say java and give it the name of the class file which is loop 9 to 19 and there you see it outputs the values from 9 all the way to 19 so the for loop works as we ex as we expected it to okay so now in the next section what we want to do is we would like to print out the values starting from 19 and going all the way down to 9 okay so take a new sheet and in there we're going to start coding again in fact you could just copy this entire code and paste it there and we will change a few things but this time we want to loop from 19 to 9 so that's why we've named the class accordingly uh, the public static, static void main method remains the same statements for the for loop those will have to change so we delete all this okay so the first thing is we need to initialize the variable so int x equals where would we like the values to start from we would like the values to start from 19 because that's the first number that we want output semicolon and how long would we like the loop to carry on running so we would like to keep on printing till we reach the value 9 right so you say x as long as the value of x is greater than 8 yeah as long as the value of x is greater than 8 we want the loop to carry on running and once that condition becomes false then the loop stops okay and then semicolon and what would we like to do we would like to decrease the value of the variable every time it loops so initially x is 19 so we would like we can say x is equal to x minus 1 yes and then in the next bit 
we use system.out.println to print out the value of x, just like we did earlier. Okay, now, if you don't want to use this long form, what you could do is you could say x minus minus, okay? So let's save this by going to File, Save As. And then within the Loops folder, I'm going to create another folder and call it Another Loop. And in here, I'm going to name this file loop 19to9.java. Loop 19to9.java. That's it. Then we save it. So in the terminal window, I'm going to type in cd, drag the another loop direct, uh, directory and then press enter and now we are in the another loop directory let's do a ls and you can see we have the dot java file located there to compile it we're going to say javac calling the java compiler and then we're saying loop 19 to 9 dot java and press enter Okay, so the compiler has compiled it and produced a class file. It has given us no error messages, which is good. So let's do a ls. And you can see that the class file has been created. Now to run this, we say Java loop 19 to 9. Now that's the name of the class file, right? So press enter. And you can see that it has output the, the values of x from 19 all the way down to 9. So hopefully you've uh, understood how a for loop works. So that's it for now. Till we meet again. Take care.